2016 saw the United States election campaigns finally coming to an end, but not before one of the most bizarre and unprecedented elections in history. Scandals, insults, WikiLeaks, Bernie Sanders, the FBI exonerating Clinton twice, the Trump tapes, and that's just scratching the surface. But really though, this election year was unlike any other before it. Then, as the election neared the end, most mainstream media deemed Hillary Clinton the clear favorite to win. But, like most of the election, things went differently. On election night, Donald Trump beat Hillary Clinton to win the nomination stunning millions. While this was met by much resistance, Donald Trump will become the 45th President of the United States, replacing Barack Obama after he is sworn in on January 20th of 2017. This election also brought division and racism to the forefront. While bringing fear to some, it also brought hope to many others. Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Play it! The Cubs win the World Series! On November 2nd, after an incredible 108-year drought, the Chicago Cubs finally won the World Series in heart-stopping fashion, beating out the Cleveland Indians in Game 7. This then started an onslaught of tweets, putting into perspective just how long 108 years was. As with any year, 2016 saw many anniversaries. 60 years ago, Elvis Presley made his debut on the Dorsey Brothers show. 50 years ago, Dr. Christian Bernard, along with a team of South African surgeons, performed the world's first successful heart transplant. The patient died just 18 days later. 40 years ago, Space Shuttle Enterprise made its first test glide on the back of a 747, marking the beginning of NASA's reusable space shuttle flights. 30 years ago, the world population reached 5 billion people. 20 years ago, Tupac was shot and died days later. 10 years ago, Sasha Baron Cohen debuted the infamous Borat in its premiere at the Toronto Film Festival and as a bonus, no one had heard of the Kardashians yet. Ah, what a time that was. I feel bad, you don't think I feel bad? 2016 marked five years since the uprising that has led to the civil war in Syria and was yet another year of continued unrest in the nation. Aleppo saw the worst of this. The world watched the destruction of Aleppo and the desperation of its citizens time and time again. The destructive battle displayed its brutality all through the end of 2016 as Russia supporting Syria rained bombs on the city in hopes of regaining power. While most of the year saw horrors of civil unrest, it ended with a small simmer of hope when just this month an evacuation of over 35,000 civilians took place as part of a ceasefire that was reached to have rebel forces surrender their foothold on Aleppo back to the Syrian government. Assad believes this will mark the end of a four-year control that rebel forces have had on eastern Aleppo and could mark a significant turning point in the civil war in Syria. However, this is yet to be seen. On May 28th, a three-year-old boy, Isaiah Dickerson, climbed into the gorilla enclosure at the Cincinnati Zoo. Not surprisingly, he was soon grabbed and dragged around by a 17-year-old silverback gorilla, Harambe. The zoo staff feared the boy was in danger of being killed and decided to shoot and kill Harambe. The entire ordeal was uploaded to social media before going viral and leading to an absolute onslaught of media coverage. Now unlike most stories, this one just would not go away. The internet exploded when the shooting became the subject of countless internet memes, undoubtedly landing Harambe the status of being 2016's meme of the year. 
His popularity also sparked thousands to write in Harambe as their candidate in both Australia and the 2016 US election, with polls showing that the dead gorilla had an amazing 5% support in late July ahead of Green Party nominee Jill Stein. Seriously, this was a real headline this year. Other notable memes and crazes included Chewbacca Mom, <laughs> the random clown epidemic, Pepe the Frog, the mannequin challenge, and... Damn! Daniel, back at it again with the white vans. Dusty man! I wanna be the very best, like no one ever was. The 90s trading card game Pokemon made an ultimate comeback this year in the form of an app. Using GPS data, the game allowed users to catch creatures all over their surrounding areas in an augmented reality. Its phenomenal debut across the globe saw millions of people overtaking cities, hoarding to streets and parks in the hunt for Pokemon. The game has had over 500 million downloads and in its peak had a staggering 45 million active users. Elon Musk. Elon Musk has long made public his dreams of one day colonizing Mars, but no one knew quite how. In September, Musk finally revealed his mind-boggling ambitious plan to get to Mars, colonize it, and thus potentially make humans a multi-planetary species. While impossible today, it is estimated that a cost to Mars for a single person would likely exceed $10 billion. SpaceX aims to cut that cost down drastically to about $200,000. Incredibly, this plan includes SpaceX working to get to Mars within just six years. To do this, SpaceX has been working on creating fully reusable rocket boosters to bring shuttles to orbit, refilling the shuttle in orbit, and then as the tankers return to Earth, the shuttle would then continue its journey to Mars. After successfully bringing humans to Mars, these shuttles would then return to Earth and reload for their next journey, restarting the entire process over again. While extremely ambitious, to hear someone talk seriously about going to Mars and back in a similar fashion to the way that we use planes and buses today is truly special. To become a space-faring civilization and a multi-planet species, which uh, I hope you would agree that is the right way to go. Yes? <laughs> Scientists believe that there may be more than 10 million species on Earth, yet only 2 million have been discovered. This year, another 18,000 species were discovered, some of which include a distinct species of giant tortoise, the Chelonoidus don Faustoi, found on the island of Santa Cruz off the coast of Ecuador. Also, the Tanana arctic butterfly, discovered in Alaska, making it the first new butterfly species to be found in the region in 28 years. And the ghostly octopus, discovered in February, which lacks any pigment cells due to where it resides. It was discovered deep beneath the sea at over two and a half miles deep, near Hawaii. Unfortunately, 2016 saw yet another year of tragic terrorist attacks around the globe. On March 22nd, in Brussels, Belgium, multiple planned attacks took place beginning with two explosions detonating just moments apart in Zevantum Airport. Then, just over an hour later, another explosion went off in Malbique Metro Station. In all, 32 people were killed from around the world, with a further 340 people injured. ISIS later claimed responsibility for this, and it was the worst attack in Belgian history. Then on June 12th, Omar Mateen opened fire in Pulse, a gay nightclub in Orlando, killing 49 people and wounding another 53, 
marking the deadliest mass shooting in US history and the deadliest on US soil since 9-11. Satin pledged allegiance to ISIS shortly after opening fire in a 911 call. On July 3rd, a vehicle full of explosives detonated nearby a shopping center in Karada, Baghdad, killing at least 292 people in what was the worst attack to hit Iraq's capital in 10 years. Again, ISIS claimed responsibility. On July 14th, an 18-ton truck flew through a crowd on Bastille Day killing 84, 10 of which were children in Nice, France. The driver was eventually shot by French police before ISIS once again claimed responsibility, claiming that the man was a soldier of the Islamic State. This was yet another big year in technology, but strangely, this year seemed to be different in that many of the biggest tech stories didn't revolve around an array of new features or lack thereof. For instance, maybe the most significant thing Apple did this year wasn't so much a product launch, but rather taking a stance on privacy. After the FBI took legal action against Apple in an attempt to hack an iPhone that had been owned by a terrorist, Apple refused, believing a backdoor would open a world of privacy issues. In the end, the FBI dropped its case after finding a way in themselves. Rival company Samsung released the Galaxy Note 7, which was supposed to be a huge success. However, shortly after its release, dozens began reporting of their phones catching fire and even exploding. Samsung then recalled the phone, but the troubles wouldn't end. It wasn't long before the supposed fixed phones began catching fire as well, and Samsung was soon after forced to recall the Note 7 for good, but maybe not before greatly damaging their reputation. This year saw the EU referendum in the UK which was to decide whether the United Kingdom would remain a part of the European Union or not. This historic vote took place on June 23rd and after a remarkable voter turnout of the 33.5 million votes casted, nearly 17.5 million people voted in favour of Britain's exit or Brexit. The decision to leave the EU was followed by British Prime Minister David Cameron announcing his resignation, believing that Britain needed a leader that was in favour of the vote, which he was not. The aftermath of this in large part has yet to play out in coming years, but is likely to get very interesting to say the least. One of these scenarios we could see is Scotland, who voted to stay, choosing to leave the UK. This would greatly change what the United Kingdom is today and could potentially be the end of the UK entirely. Prime Minister Theresa May has said she will trigger Article 50 by March of 2017, which will give two years for negotiations and mean that the UK will likely officially leave the EU by 2019. Whether or not this is the beginning of the end for the UK or even the EU, this vote will undoubtedly be remembered as one of the most impacting events of 2016. As part of 2016's Rewind, I wanted to just thank you, every single one of you who has liked a video, watched a video, commented, or subscribed in this last year. I truly appreciate every single one of you. Seeing as I only started this channel in 2016, to have experienced the kind of support that I already have is truly astonishing and I am thankful. I hope we can continue to see this channel grow in the new year, and I hope to see you all come back on future videos. Thank you.